We're very concerned right now with the things that we can and cannot do um, throughout the community and the public during this pandemic. And it's been, been really interesting to see the strength of how the arts uh, kind of bring the quality of life back to a community. And specifically for Lancaster, um, having powwow here has been really incredible. It has allowed the artists to have opportunities to work out in the community again where they haven't been working and also for the community to come out and see the artists working and be able to experience something other than sitting behind their television or their computer. Um, so I, I th there's been a really beautiful moment here with Pow Wow. Pow Wow is always good, but it's especially um, poignant, I think, uh, at this juncture with, uh, in the middle of this pandemic. Right now we're all cooped up. We're thinking about what there is to do. Well, there's an opportunity now to get out in your cars, go outside, go drive around, go walk around, look at the art that's being displayed. They're phenomenal artists, it's phenomenal work, and it's right here in our backyard. Take the time, spread your wings, go out and check it out. I mean, there's no time more important than now. Art is a key and core to what we do as a society, and it's key and core to what we do as Lancaster, and it's important. I think public art is kind of like the saving grace for a lot of people right now. Um, I mean, with the, everything happening with the pandemic and with social unrest, uh, I think art has like been a major form of like therapy and just comfort and uh, form of activism during all of this. So there are so many amazing pieces here and names that I recognize. You know, pieces by my friends. I think there's a lot of like amazing stuff and like secret hidden gems here and there. Like I feel like I find a new piece every time I go through town. Yeah, the concept behind this image has to do with science, a little bit of fantasy, the working man. That's why he's kind of like half, half machine, half human. And it's sort of a time traveler. And, uh, and it kind of has to do with, um, you know, getaway, kind of an escape. Like, you know, nothing too serious, a little humorous. <laughs> The city of Lancaster is really great and I've actually really enjoyed my time here. Meeting all the artists was really nice. Um, all the murals here are amazing. It's really cool that there's culture being brought into a town and that people are involved with their community here. And I really like that. MOA, uh, MOA is a great museum. I've seen tons of just beautiful work there. And I'm really glad that it's here and bringing culture to the community because I think that's really important for people to keep people connected and with each other and, and their neighbors. So. I think it's important to have that in the town. Lancaster, I'm pretty familiar with. I grew up about 30 minutes outside of here. And uh, this is the first, this is definitely the most time I've ever spent here. And yeah, I, I like it. I like the desert. I mean, even though despite the heat, it's, uh, it's been a nice change from uh, Pacific Northwest weather. And uh, the murals here are just awesome. You know, I, I uh, know a lot, uh, a few of the artists personally, and, and definitely aware of all the other artists that have done murals so far. And, um, yeah, it's just uh, really cool to walk around the city and and see something pop up out of the corner that I wasn't expecting. And uh, yeah, I hope it, I hope it continues. I hope it just keeps growing and uh, being incorporated into new areas like this park and uh, all over the city. The really unique thing about uh, the 2020 Pow Wow AV is that we have so many first-timers um, trying to expand opportunities for um, artists that haven't had those opportunities to build out a large public art body of work or a mural in their, in their studio practice. Uh, we were excited that this year we have them and they really have done a fantastic job translating their fine art into these really large-scale wall murals. Also, another first-time opportunity uh, went to one of our volunteers who came from Hawaii to volunteer for the festival as a helper, and we ended up uh, giving her a wall. So we're really excited that this wasn't just our big fine art uh, artists that are participating, but we actually had a fine art volunteer that was here that got a wall. So the concept was really just to capture the spirit of this area where we're in. Um, out in Lancaster, it's also called Aerospace Valley. So I wanted to capture a little bit of the desert scene, all of the natural topography and some of the animals. And I also wanted to capture these elements of space and 
uh, with NASA being here and all the stars and everything that was important to capture. So my concept behind this piece for the Moa Lancaster um, was really showcasing like the beauty of the desert and desert animals and their uniqueness and framing them in a way that I thought would be suitable for an art museum. You know, there's always some somebody who preserved culture, preserved um, traditions, preserved endless amount of uh, ideas through art and institutions like museums. So that's why I think Moa is super important. Like we, we, we need institutions like that, especially in today's times. When I was thinking of uh, what to paint for this, I tried looking at uh, uh, wildlife in, in the Lancaster area and um, the desert, Mojave Desert in general, and uh, looking at the yucca trees and um, the, uh, the snakes, uh, big fan of snakes. And so I had this idea of painting the snake charmer. Um, and most of my other work incorporates cats in some way, so to kind of make the snakes a little bit cuter and palatable for people in the park, I put cat heads on them because what's harmer to charm than a snake but a house cat. So the concept behind the wall is our dependency on single-use plastics, our, our connection to nature, and basically the poisoning of the earth is the poisoning of our bodies as well. So here in Lancaster there are a ton of murals everywhere and I think it's really an amazing way to beautify the area. It's so unexpected, you wouldn't think that in this tiny desert community there would be so much public art, so it's really beautiful to see. I think it's super important to have a, a, you know, local art museums that people can get to, um, especially outside of the larger cities. Uh, when I started posting about uh, doing a mural here, I got a lot of uh, nice comments from people uh, saying that they're just really thankful that uh, places like that exist, that they don't have to drive an hour and a half to, to Los Angeles to, to see some really awesome art. So seeing uh, the shows that Think Space have, have curated there and, and uh, you know, their, their general uh, yearly lineup is, is uh, so important for people that I don't have the opportunity to see that regularly. Obviously, great support from Jasper Wong and Power Worldwide, um, also Andrew Hosner from Think Space. This would not happen without them. Um, but it's their devotion and their dedication to the arts and also the community building that happens around these kinds of events. Um, the local support here has been phenomenal. Uh, we specifically had uh, monetary support from Destination Lancaster and also the Boulevard Association. Uh, Signs and Designs was very helpful in creating a lot of the printed material, our banners. Um, anytime we needed anything that was signage, they were, they were there for us. But really the biggest support comes from the community itself and the people who have come to volunteer. Um, our st MOA staff, uh, we're talking about a lot of the workers in the downtown, uh, City of Lancaster staff, and just the communities, the community members that live in the neighborhood for coming out, speaking to the artists, supporting it, uh, give us, get, giving us support by giving us uh, words of encouragement and also words of joy. Um, so many people enjoy what they get to see, that it becomes a pride of ownership, and it also uh, gives us this kind of sense of telling our history in the moment that we're living in right now.